to obtain this information. And the police blotter is next when we come back. Also, Brooklyn can boast about Spike Lee. Now, the Bronx will soon have someone to brag about as well. Watch out, Spike Lee. Someone is out to get you. Well, in happier news today, our Bronx Light of the Week is an aspiring artist who managed to make a movie between making pizza deliveries. Sonny Smith joins us now with more. Sonny. Thanks, Nizar. It may be a while before Siskel and Ebert give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to our local Bronx site, Christopher Rain, but now that he has one movie under his belt, he's hoping to make theater goers sit on the edge of their seats. Here's our Bronx site of the week. I like to tell stories. I, it's, uh, I've always been a writer. Uh, written screenplays, prose fiction. I've done smaller pieces, you know, 10, 15 min minutes in length, but nothing on this scale. And, uh, I mean, it was just a great sense of accomplishment. Meet Christopher Rain. If this aspiring filmmaker has his way, his movies will be coming soon to a theater near you. Rather than wait for Hollywood to come knocking at his door, this 23-year-old Pelham Bay resident wrote and produced his first full-length motion picture called On the Edge. Uh, I wrote it in the summer of 94, and um, I decided after reading it a dozen times that I was going to turn it into... Uh, I realized that if no one was going to produce my screenplay but me, and that was the only way that it was going to get done. So uh, it took, I'd say, um, three months in pre-production planning. Um, we started shooting uh, in January, and we finished shooting in March, and took about a month and a half in the editing studio, and here we are. Recently, a private screening was held for the cast and crew, which was made up of over 50 local residents. I mean, most of the people that were involved in it were involved on a volunteer basis, technicians as well as actors. And without them, I wouldn't have been able to do what, what was done today. On the Edge is a story that captures a slice of life of three guys who've grown up together in the Pelham Bay area, played by Robert Anthony, Michael Dalton, and Dominic Cerigliano. And a love interest played by Donna Cullen is thrown into the mix to spice things up. Making On the Edge a reality left Rain little time for anything else, and he had to be resourceful. While his part-time job delivering pizzas didn't exactly have him rolling in the dough, he doesn't regret using most of his savings to finance the 70-minute production. And family and friends say they're his biggest fans. Very proud of Chris. We're excited. Yeah, that he worked hard for it, and I hope it's a success for him. No, I thought it was great. We were watching them when they started filming it, you know, and I was really surprised. Rain's talents were no surprise to his former creative writing professor from Lehman College, who remembered him as a great student. Chris was really uh, very outstanding right from the beginning. It was really fun working with him. It was, uh, it was really, he was a good student, very motivated, just very involved in his writing. It was a great effort on Chris's behalf. I think he did an excellent job, and I think he should pursue his career in directing. Even if he never becomes as famous as directors Oliver Stone, Quentin Tarantino, or Spike Lee, and if his movies never make it as box office smashes, Rain says he's made his point. I don't have a distributor right now, but um, they, you're absolutely right. That's really not the point. The point is just telling stories. That's really what I want to do. It doesn't have to get bigger than this. I mean, it would be nice to be able to, to have the, the financial backing to, to make another picture, but I mean, I come as it may. If I have to finance the next one, I'll just wait a little while and, and do it again. For having the right stuff when it comes to screenwriting and making movies, Christopher Rain is our Bronx Site of the Week.